Hi guys, it's Amanda. The first project I'm going to share with you today is a mini taco shaker card. On the shrink print, I'm going to stamp with stays on on the matte side. I did try it on the glossy side and I felt like my image was not as clear as it was. It, it almost um, blurred a little bit. So I decided to go ahead and just do it on the matte side, even though I think it looks nicer when you do it on the glossy side. So I'm stamping it using my Misty, and I ended up just stamping a whole bunch of them all on the same sheet, and then I'm going to cut them out with um, scissors. But I find it easier to color first before you cut them out. So I'm going to use colored pencils to color them all in. I'm going to make them all a little bit different, but I'm also coloring on the matte side for all of them. Um, if I was using Copics or Spectrum Noir markers, I would do it on the glossy side. Um, I want to do colored pencils because it's so much easier um, to blend them. And because they're going to be in a shaker card, nobody's going to be touching them. I found with the colored pencils that if you touch them after you shrink them, the, the pencil still kind of rubs off a little bit. So, um, But since these were going in a shaker card and nobody was going to be touching them, I just decided to do the colored pencils. I find them much easier to use. So they're all going to be a little bit different, so I'm just using all, a bunch of different colors. Um, you couldn't really tell in the end that they were all a little bit different, but I thought you might be able to, so that's why I wanted to do it. So here's my finished tacos, and I am just going to fussy cut each taco out. I'm not too concerned about getting too close to the edge, um, because they're going to be in a shaker card and they're going to be so small, it's not going to be noticeable. So um, once I'm finished cutting all these out, I'm going to go ahead and shrink them all. So here's all my cut out tacos, and now I'm going to shrink them one by one. I'm using the heat resistant tweezers from Dress My Craft. If you are going to use shrink prank, you need to have some sort of tweezers like this um, so you don't burn your hand because it goes right up that metal and if you just use regular tweezers, you will burn your fingers. Um, also you'll notice I'm using an embossing gun. They Dress My Craft recommends that you don't use this, that you use one of those hair dryer looking heat tools. Um, this I made this video before I got that other heat tool, and I found that it does work. Um, you can see that my tacos are all um, looking good and, and shrinking just fine. I did get the other heat tool, the hairdryer heat tool, and it works a lot quicker, and it does it a lot more smoothly. Um, so I would also recommend using that, but if you didn't have it, you can see that this, this tool works just as well. Um, just please make sure that you use those heat resistant tweezers so you don't burn yourself. Um, so you can see the tacos, they really don't look that different, even though they are different. Um, and if you look at the back side of them, this is the this is looking at the glossy side. So on the back side of them is the colored pencils, and that's what kind of rubs off a little bit still. So now I'm just going to show you how I made the rest of the card. If you don't want to watch this, just flip right through um, and go to the next project. But I didn't know if some people would want to see how I actually made the shaker card. So I'm just um, using 110-pound um, Nina cardstock, and I'm just going to um, stamp tacos everywhere along the whole thing, and then I'm going to use um, a die to create a border for my shaker card.
So now I'm ready to actually make the shaker portion of the card. So I'm taking a folded card and I'm using these 3D foam strips. Um, they're like an eighth inch, I think. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one layer of these and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do a second layer. So I'm going to make it extra deep so that these tacos have plenty of room to move around. So I stamped and heat embossed my sentiment for the front and for the inside and then I just cut out a couple more tacos for the inside of the card as well. So this is the final shaker card with the cute little mini tacos inside. So now on to project number two, which is the lemon keychains. For these, I was just experimenting with um, glossy versus matte side and all the different mediums that you can use, Sharpie and stamps. Um, so for each one, I have wrote down what I did. So I'm going to go through each one of these so you can see how they look in the end. So this one was with a Sharpie on the matte side, colored pencils on the matte side, and a 1 8 inch hole punch. For this one, I used a Sharpie marker on the glossy side. I used Copic markers on the glossy side, and I used a quarter inch punch. This one I did a Sharpie marker on the matte side and Distress Crayons on the matte side with a quarter inch punch. And then this one I used Stazon for a stamp on the glossy side and I used Distress Oxides on the matte side with a quarter inch punch. So now I'm just going to do one, um, just do one more keychain just so I can show you how I did it. So I'm going to use my Sharpie marker on the matte side and I'm just going to trace. Um, I drew all these lemons freehand um, and then I printed them out on a piece of computer paper so that way I could keep using the same template over and over again. So 
So I'm going to use my um, scissors to fussy cut it out. After I um, fussy cut it, I realized that I probably should have cut it out first. Um, I could have done a pencil border all the way around, on the, just around the outside, cut it out. Because now I didn't get my border of my Sharpie very good, so now I have to go back and draw my um, border in thicker. So now I'm going to go ahead and color with colored pencils. I did find that um, because there's a white colored pencil, you can use it to create your highlights. Um, if I was doing it on the glossy side, I could use a white jelly roll pen. Um, but since I'm doing colored pencils, I can use this white. So that's what I'm going to go through and just do all my little highlight marks um, using my template to see where those are. So I'm using the same yellow color pencil for the entire lemon, but I'm creating different shades of yellow by doing darker, harder strokes or lighter strokes. And it's pretty subtle right now. It looks like that's really light yellow, but when it's all finished, you can see that when it's shrunk down, you those colors becomes much more vibrant. So now I'm ready for my hole punch. I'm using the quarter inch hole punch. Um, this this is from Dress My Craft. All of the hole punches are from Dress My Craft. They have a 1 16th, 1 8th, and 1 quarter. Um, because I'm doing a keychain, I'm using the 1 quarter. But if I was doing jewelry, I would use the 1 8th or the 1 16th. Um, again, this is where you can see that if I had the hair dryer heat tool, this would go much faster. Um, but because the, this heat gun, the air is coming out so concentrated, that's why it takes longer. So at this point, most people might freak out because it's touching itself, you think it's gonna stick. Um, it doesn't do that, so just don't freak out. Uh, let it take its course, it will unfold itself, um, and then have your acrylic block ready to just push it down to, fl to flat. Don't forget your heat resistant tweezers. Think of how long this has been going and how hot those tweezers would be if they were had metal tips on them. So you can see it's starting to flatten out. And I'm just trying to make sure I get all the edges. Um, you can tell it's not all the way done because it's not flattening out all the way. So flipping it over back and forth makes it um, flatten out much quicker. So this is the mat side that you're looking at and you can see you can see those strokes and everything. Um, that's the colored pencils. When you flip it over to the glossy side I think it looks nicer. 
so you can't see the strokes on that side. So then just to show you how much it shrinks, there's the original and then that's my finished keychain. So I'm just going to go through and show you each of the ones um, that I did before just so that you can see all the different um, techniques that I used. And now on to the third project, which is um, a bracelet for my daughter. Her name is Vera. I'm going to use an alphabet stamp set with stays on. The first go around, I am I'm inking it up and I'm going, I have the glossy side up inside my Misty. So I'm going to stamp on the glossy side. And when I do that, um, no matter how hard I push down, I could not get a very good stamped image. So that's why on the lemons keychains, I stamped on the matte side. This is where I practiced um, this project I actually did before I did the lemon keychains. So you can see that I couldn't really get a very good clear image there on the glossy. So now I have it flipped to the matte side and I'm going to re-ink my um, alphabet up and I was able to get a much more clear um, stamped image now. So I'm going to show you the difference between the glossy and the matte side here in a second. So here we go. So you can see the one on the left was on the glossy side and the one on the right is on the matte side. So now I'm going to use Spectrum Noir markers. I use Copic markers and I use Spectrum Noir. I thought they both did great. Um, the Spectrum Noir were just closer to me at the time. So I'm using the markers on the matte side as well. Um, I'm just going to use two shades of each color, a lighter and a darker, just to create a little shadow. So you can see I'm just practicing to make sure it looks okay um, in the corner there on a little scrap piece. So I'm just going to do each letter with a little tiny little shadow on each one. So now I'm going to just hand cut each of the letters out with my scissors. I'm going to use my 1 8 inch punch from Just My Craft to put a little hole on each of the letters so that I can um, put a little link on each of them to connect them to the bracelet.
out all my jewelry fixins. Um, Crafter's Corner sells a lot of this stuff. Um, this is just stuff that I had from forever ago from jewelry making. So um, I have all these tools and everything already. So I'm just opening up each link and connecting my letters to them. Um, and then I'm going to just uh, string them through my bracelet. the bracelet. All done. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.